हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माय सेल्फ चेतन गर्ग एंड आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर एट दैट इज द लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन राइट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई सेशन लेट मी टेल यू जस्ट वन इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट करेंटली हेयर एट वेदांतु वी आर रनिंग प्री आर एम ओ आर एम ओ एंड आई एन एम ओ बैचेस right those who have not cleared pre rmo yet or uh, have not appeared for pre rmo exam uh, they can simply uh, visit our website olympia.vedantu.com here uh, you will find uh, all the information regarding pre rmo batches and those who have already cleared pre rmo exam or uh, rmo exam uh, they can simply mail me their name class proof uh, contact number and address on this email id right those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches right so uh, let's start our session uh, this is the question number 7th of year 1991 right uh, in this question uh, we need to prove that n power 4 plus 4 raised to power n is composite for all the integers which are greater than 1 right for all the integral values of n which are greater than 1 Uh, so those who have not solved this question yet i'll uh, i'll request you to just pause the video uh, give a genuine attempt on this question after that you can uh, you, you can uh, come again uh, to watch the solution right so i'll uh, proceed with the solution so let's see uh, here n power 4 plus 4 power n we need to prove this uh, composite for all the uh, n which is which are greater than 1 right clearly let's say if n is an even number right if n belongs to even then we can simply say uh, this part will be even n power 4 and 4 power n will also be even because of this is nothing but a power of 4 right so this whole thing will be even right and that is also greater than 2 uh, because in fact uh, this whole thing will be divisible by 16 right if n is even as it will become 2 power 4 which is uh, again divisible by 16 right and uh, this is 4 raised to power 2n uh, 2k let's say right so this is also again divisible by 16 so we can comfortably say that for any even natural number n this thing n power 4 plus 4 power n this will always be even right so now let's proceed if n is odd right if n is odd uh, what we can say let's assume n to be uh, 2k plus 1 right so we can say we we can rewrite this expression let's uh, do not change the first n but rather change the second n and that is this to be 2k plus 1 right now this thing will become n power 4 plus 4 into 4 raised to power 2k right which we can again rewrite as n raised to power 4 plus 4 into uh, this 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 4k which can further be written as this we can write it as n power 4 Plus four into two raised to power k raised to power four, right? So if you know an identity, मतलब some of you must be knowing this identity a power four plus four b power four, right? This is very common identity. In this, we just add four b square and we just subtract four b square, right? So this part is nothing but it is a square plus 2b square whole square minus 4b square. So this is nothing but this comes out to be how much? We can simply write a square plus 2b square plus 2b. One factor will be this into the other factor will be simply how much? A square plus 2b square minus 2b. Right. So these two will be the factors of this identity. Right. So by proceeding within the same way, we can uh, write this as plus 4 into 2 raised to power k square minus 4 into 2 raised to power k square. Again, we can directly use this identity, but let's proceed with the proof once again, right? So this will become n square plus 2 into 2 raised to power k, uh, 2 raised to power k square whole square, right? Minus this will be nothing but 2 into 2 raised to power k whole square, right? We can write this as 2 into so nothing but a square minus b square. What we will get n square plus twice of 2 into k uh, square 
minus this 2 into 2k right and what else we will got uh, what else we will get n square plus 2 into 2 raised to power k square plus 2 into 2 raised to power k right so this thing is factorized into two factors and you can easily see none of the factor is 1 right as this thing is clearly greater than 1 because uh, this part will be positive and n is clearly greater than 1 so we have made this as a product of two factors and none of is 1 so we can simply say this number n power 4 plus 4 power n this will always be a composite number when n is greater than 1 because if n is 1 this uh, simply becomes 5 uh, as you can see this factor uh, will become 1 if n is uh, if n is 1 that is if n is 1 that the, that means k is 0 now if k is 0 this is 0 this factor will become 1 right apart from this this is always greater than 1 and hence uh, we have uh, make this thing uh, as a product of two factors right that means this will be a composite number for each and every natural number n which is greater than 1 right so this is a question and again uh, in this question there is an identity there uh, you should know uh, if some of you who do not know this identity you should know this result this is nothing but this is equals to this thing uh, a square plus 2b square plus 2b times you can say a square plus 2b square minus 2b right this is the identity this is basically two factors of this thing right so okay let's uh, move to our next question question number 8 right i hope you question aapko samaj mein aagya hoga bahut asaan question tha right so let's move to question number 8 okay this is a big question the question says this there are 64 squares of an 8 by 8 chessboard which are filled uh, with positive integers okay in such a way that each integer is the average of the two integers on the neighboring squares okay so uh, two squares are neighbors if they have a common edge or a common vertex okay uh, if a vertex is common there and then also they are considered to be neighbors right Thus a square can have 8, 5 or 3 neighbors depending on its position, right? Show that all the 64 integers are in fact equal, right? That's perfect, right? So uh, here is the catch. Um, this is say that uh, each integer is the average of the integers on the neighboring squares, right? So let's uh, draw the diagram and uh, let's see uh, how the neighbors are 8, 5 or 3. And in fact, in fact this thing is independent. Uh, let's say uh, one square is this how many neighbors will this cornered square have one is this second is this because uh, if a vertex is common then it will also be considered as a neighbor right one is this so a cornered square has got three neighbors right now let's see if a square is on the edge how many neighbors uh, it will have right one two three four and five right so if a square is on the edge which is not on the corner then it will have five neighbors now let's see uh, if a square is neither on the edge nor uh, on, on a corner then how many neighbors will it have one two three four these shares common as and these four shares common vertex right so there will be eight neighbors right i've seen that a square can have eight five or three neighbors right now what we need to prove that if the value of any square if we fill uh, natural numbers uh, if we fill positive integers in such a way that each integer is the average of the integers on the neighboring square then we need to prove that all these entries will be equal and in fact this is an obvious question most of you have already guessed yes that will be equal that will definitely be equal right now let's uh, prove this with the contradiction right let's assume all the values are not equal right so let's assume that all the values are not equal right my right my handwriting is very bad okay and uh, i hope aap logon ko samajh mein aa raha hoga right so let's assume all the values are not equal and uh, let's consider a value whose neighbors are not equal right whose neighbors are basically uh, uh, all of, all of whose neighbors are not same as that of number right there must be a, a value if all the entries are not equal right so we have considered a number any number whose neighbors uh, whose at least one neighbor do not have the same value uh, which that square have right so uh, let's assume either this will have three neighbors or five neighbors or eight neighbors let's uh, let's take a square 
विच हैव द लीस्ट वैल्यू अमंग द नेबर्स लीस्ट वैल्यू राइट नाउ इफ दिस स्क्वेयर शेयर सम नेबर विच हैव वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन एट लीस्ट वन नेबर विच हैज द वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन दैट वैल्यू द कंसिडर्ड वैल्यू एंड ऑल द रिमेनिंग मे हैव द सेम वैल्यू राइट सो नाउ द एवरेज विल बी डेफिनेटली विल बी ग्रेटर देन दिस लीस्ट वैल्यू विच वी हैव एज्यूम्ड राइट सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट अ स्क्वेयर विच हैव द वैल्यू विच इज ग्रेटर देन द वैल्यू विच वी हैव चूजन राइट सो द एवरेज विल नॉट बी इक्वल टू दिस let's let's consider by this by an example right let's consider this uh, which is the least value among its neighbor uh, neighboring squares like right let's this as a square now if uh, these are the neighboring squares uh, and this has got the least value among its neighbors right so how can the average will be equals to this because this has got the least value so average will be definitely greater than this value right so average cannot be equal to this this will be equal to average will be equal to this value only when all these values are equal right so by extending this logic we can easily say that all the ent entries of this uh, all the entries of the chessboard should be equal right so in this way by simply extending this logic we can say all the values uh, of the chessboard should be equal right so that's uh, these are the two questions uh, of year 1991 and uh, uh, these two are again uh, both are easy questions right so by this i'll end my session uh, and again i'll tell you one thing uh, which i have already told in the starting of the session that uh, here at vedantu we are currently running pre rmo rmo and nmo batches those who have not cleared pre rmo or have not yet appeared for pre rmo they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com here you will uh, get all the information regarding pre rmo batches and those who have cleared pre rmo uh, or rmo they can simply mail me their proof uh, their name their class their contact number and address on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches right so uh, by this i'll end my session uh, we will meet you in the next session and uh, in the next session we will discuss first two questions of year 1992 okay so thank you bye bye uh, have a nice day ahead and uh, take a very good care of yourself bye bye